Liebe BMWM-Freunde, ich verspreche... Dear BMWM fans and friends, I promise you an exclusive glance behind the scenes of the M Studio in Garching near Munich. Today we would like to welcome the youngest member of the BMW M family, the new BMW M2 Coupe. And this super sports car is already today in the pole position in the international media. Car and driver, for example, writes M in its purest form. This could be BMW's best looking car when it debuts. This is what the BMW BMW Block states, wide body, awesome car, that's what Automotor Sport writes, and Autobild says, compact, powerful, and awesome. Today we have the creators of this car here, the creators who have realized the project of BMW M2 Coupe, and we look forward to speaking to the engineers, the mechanics, the managers, the people behind the scenes and we will give you some exclusive insights into the development process and we will certainly also introduce the BMW M2 Coupe to you in great detail. I have Hussein al here for the exterior design of the BMW M2 Coupe. He is the responsible designer. And if you're standing next to your baby, that's a special feeling. Yes, it is. If you take a look at the car, what was the most important thing on the design? What you, did you think was realized excellently? Well, the proportions speak for itself. The car is very compact, yet quite wide, which is a typical feature of BMW M cars. If we now look at the new BMW M2 Coupe and compare it with the, in parentheses, the normal M2 or the normal 2 Series Coupe, what's the difference? Well, we try to express the sporty nature of the car and I think the width of the car is really something that we realized in a fantastic way. You have to stand next to the car to grasp how wide it is. 60 millimeters in front and 100 millimeters in the rear, wider than the normal 2 Series Coupe. And if you walk to the front end, you can see that also on the front end, we have a very powerful expression with the outer air inlets and the winglets on the side. If you now look at the side view, then you see the very pronounced wheel arches to emphasize the powerful character of the vehicle. And the rear is also very important. I hope that is the perspective that everybody else will see. You can see we have four tailpipes, which are moved fairly inward in order to, again, emphasize the width of the car. And we try to keep the rear end very clean. So a wide body, that's a great compliment, isn't it? What was the inspiration? Well, naturally, the M vehicles, because the M history is very rich in inspiring models, whether it was the E30 M3 or the 2002 or whatever. Fantastic cars, but we started with the 2 Series and we looked what would best suit the M2. A great job, it looks great. Thank you, Mr. Alatar. And on the new BMW M2 Coupe, you can actually see a fantastic design, but a genuine M needs to drive like a genuine M. And let's look what's inside the car. We're talking about the technical highlights of the new BMW M2 Coupe, and I'm happy to have the experts here. Peter Schmidt is the person responsible for chassis and suspension. Jochen Röder is the powertrain expert and um, Konrad Pointner is the expert for the body. And then we have Markus Engelke, who's sitting inside the car. Hello, Markus. What's found beneath the hood? That's the most important thing of a BMW M car. It's a three-liter, three six-cylinder high-performance engine with 370 HP output. The maximum torque rating is 465 newton meters, and with a brief overboost, up to 500 newton meters can be realized with wide open throttle acceleration. Well, with BMW M automobile suitability for the racetrack is also something important. It's an important criterion. What does it have to offer in this respect? Well, performance was something that was dear to our hearts and suitability for the racetrack. And we modified a few 
small details, for example, an unthrottling of the intake air routing, a cooling system designed accordingly, a rugged oil supply, and last not least, the exhaust system and the M sound that goes right along with it. And that's something we want to hear together now. Marcus Engle, push the button. And that is the M2 sound. But it's not only the engine that is important for such an automobile. There are many more components, for example, chassis and suspension. Peter, that's our thing to discuss. What was important for you? Well, precision is something that we thought was most important, which means that even the smallest input of the driver, be it on the steering wheel or on the accelerator pedal, is immediately transferred into a response of the car. We had an easy thing to accomplish because we were able to use the components of the Big Brother, the M4, that we were able to adopt for this M2 coupe. For example, the complete front axle, the rear axle, the steering system, and also the limited slip differential of the M4 that was adopted. So everything comes from the top, so to say, from the uh, next Bigger Brother. And test drives are important too. You like to test specifically on the Nürburgring on the legendary Notchleife. And there's a special history associated with that. Yes, Nürburgring is our standard program. We're around about 15 weeks a year there. And But what was the best thing there? Our first trip around Munich, well, we were driving around and two hours later, the camouflage was gone. We had high resolution pictures in the internet, even of the underbody of the car. So it doesn't take long until people really are familiar with the car. So Joachim Röder, you're the expert for powertrain. And I think with the M2 Coupe, what is very important that we have a manual transmission. Yes, manual transmission is essential for the purists who will love it who like to change gears on their own. We have a six-speed manual transmission, which was also adopted from the M4, with a dual disc clutch, which allows for a smooth takeoff and parking, but which can at the same time be really crisp and taut, like a rattlesnake, for example. And this, in turn, allows for the driver to immediately transfer his request of power to the rear wheels. Well, hopefully the car isn't parked like a rattlesnake. That would be the wrong way around. But we also have the M dual clutch transmission. Yes, that's something new for the segment. The M dual clutch transmission, which was also adopted from the M4. It was specifically tailored to the M2 uh, with respect to driving dynamics, and it allows for automatic gear changes, cruising comfortably in style, but it at the same time allows to switch to the race mode and to really change gears in a very crisp and fast way to be on the road like a driver on the racetrack. Konrad Poitner is the expert for the body. So, Konrad, let's walk around this beautiful new car. What has changed? Well, apart from the doors, the roof and the hood and trunk lid, everything is new. Also the underbody. Well, let's look about the wheel arch. Talk about the wheel arches. We spoke about this also when we talked about design. That was a challenge. Well, certainly that was a challenge. That was a problem regarding manufacturability. We had a considerable effort required in order to realize all that. And what was important and a challenge was the integration into the body in white. We came at a very late point in time and all the body in white components had already been finished. So we had to adapt to the existing components such as the doors and the hoods. Well, we already saw that in design. Let's walk up front because the M2 coupe, you really have to look it into the eyes. What was the challenge up front? Well, if you look at the vehicle, then it's basically just a huge air intake. One of the requirements was to get as much air through the intakes as possible. Secondly, it was implementation of the design. Thirdly, a realization of the crash requirements. We have a double web kidney, typical for an M, and we have air winglets which guide the air around to the wheels. Thank you, Conrad, for your explanation. And thanks also to the colleague from the Quartet of Experts. And let's together now look at the highlight for BMW M in 2015, which will be retailed as of 2016 on. This super sports car is manufactured in the BMW plant in Leipzig.
Von aus Leipzig kommt so, Frank from Kohlrabe Leipzig wäre es Frank Kohlrabe. There you produce the one series and the two series, the battery electric vehicles such as the i3. And now we have a new challenge that you face in Leipzig. What changes with the M2 Coupe in comparison to the previous production? Well, first of all, you have to know that we as the vehicle plant naturally attempt to realize complex vehicles as this one in a very rugged series production process. Well, you know from the designers and the developers only maximum performance counts and that goes in hand, hand in hand with the requirements of production. There were a few things that really caused the challenge to us. Body reinforcements, for example, which had to be integrated in the body shop, but also some reinforcements and braces that had to be integrated later on in the assembly process. The first BMW M2 a prototype that nobody else saw apart from the employee was also in Leipzig. Tell me about it. Well, the first M2 was sent to us fairly late and we initially started uh, talking about and discussing how we could realize that in production. We heard that the car would be 10 centimeters wider and we decided we should give it a try to determine whether it would fit through production facilities. So we had to run a collision check for the assembly process. We artificially widened the 235 and ran it through the production facilities. It was pushed through it manually? Yes, that's about what happened. So next year in April, things will really get hot and a lot has to be produced until then. And we cross our fingers for that. Frank Kulabe, thank you very much. And we naturally also look forward to a continuation of the tremendous success story of the one series, for example, and that will continue with the two series. So sheer driving pleasure is one thing, and speaking about it is another. And I'd like to welcome most cordially the project manager and the product manager. And we'll have to talk about these two functions. So welcome, Tina Schmidt, Frank Eisenberg. Tina, you're the only woman in a team of men. How does that feel? Well, actually, it's like in a good marriage. At the end, it's the wife who is in charge. Well, that's not the case, to be honest. We had a clear vision right from the beginning of an authentic BMW M2. And this is the idea that we together in the project gene processed and implemented. What does a product manager do? Well, a product manager, or at least my job is, dependent on the identity of the sub-brand M, in cooperation with the most important markets to define the requirements on a genuine M automobile and to ultimately integrate these into the project. And as you may imagine, that is not that easily accomplished. Sometimes you need to be quite persuasive, but I think with the respective team spirit, we were able to do a great job here. Well, we heard a lot about the new BMW M2. What is the highlight personally for you? Well, the M2 Coupe as such is the highlight. There are no individual highlights. It's an absolutely unique and consistent overall package that was put together. It's a vehicle that you can experience. It's a genuine M vehicle that can be experienced in any port. Frank Isenberg is the project manager. And here we have it, the BMW M2 Coupe. We have the M2 235i. And we have the one series M Coupe, which you see right next to it, which is the predecessor, the legitimate predecessor. How is this new M2 positioned? After the tremendous success of the one series M Coupe, we immediately determined whether there was enough room between the 235i and the M4. And we're convinced that the M2 fills the gap perfectly. It's a compact car, it's lightweight, it has a short wheelbase. It's extremely agile without being nervous. And this gives the driver a lot of pleasure approaching the limit. Well, it's sufficient if the passenger gets nervous, right? Well, what's your highlight? Well, as a project manager, it's the development overall. And when the suppliers and the work, the plant reported that we're ready to rumble, quality is great. What was decisive for you in the overall project? Well, it was important that the teams, the development in Leipzig were closely interconnected and always cooperated in a team. Well, something really great came out of that. And we look forward to a continuation of the success story. And we would like to ask the complete team on stage, the creators, the people behind the scenes. And we look forward to April 2016. And the applause is something that you all deserve. Thank you very much.
In April 2016, the BMW M2 Coupe will be retailed. And that is a genuine M automobile that is dyed in the wool. And you can feel that when you listen to what the developers have to report from the history of the development of the M2 Coupe. Thanks for having joined us in the short show from the M Studio in Gachin. And there's one thing you should never forget. M, the most powerful letter in the world.